Welcome back to LWCC Live, Living Word Community Church Online. I promise you that even though you are looking at some ingredients today, we have not turned into a cooking show. Today, I want to tell you why I think prayer are like peppers. What you're looking at here is this is a, a normal sweet pepper that people would have on their salads. Next, we have some jalapenos. Then we have a bird's eye chili. And then we have a scotch bonnet. And in fact, I mean, these ones here, we just eat these for fun. And they're delicious. We have those on our pizzas. These we have on our sides. These, these we begin to get a bit serious, but we're going to throw those away. Because today I want to talk to you about these. And these two actually look pretty similar. But they do very, very different things. And in terms of prayer, we're going to talk about potency. Now, these things may look very similar, but this is a bit like I'm going to do my own thing. And every day I'm going to shoot, or maybe not even every day, I'm going to shoot a prayer up to God. God, I'm, I'm still here. I'm still alive. I still love you. Just help me out. Make my life a bit easier. And there's nothing wrong with that. This is good food. This is going to sustain you. This is going to keep you going. But sometimes we wonder why God doesn't answer our prayer. Sometimes we wonder why God is calling us deeper. And we want to have an incredibly potent, don't we, prayer life. Here we have a scotch bonnet. And even when you have the right ingredients, and I mean, this is a pretty spicy thing. It actually tells you to wear gloves when chopping up a scotch bonnet. But even when we have the right ingredients, this is very, very spicy. There's a little bit of a trick. If you don't want to burn your mouth and be uncomfortable, you can remove the seeds. And if you remove the seeds and the bit that attaches the seeds, that's called membrane. If you attach, remove the seeds and remove the membrane, you're removing most of the spice. We might have something that looks about right, but isn't so powerful. We might even have the right thing, but when we start to remove the potency, it starts to lose its power. So you might ask, why am I talking about all of these things today? Jesus taught us how to pray. And in our season, we're talking about the perseverance of prayer. The first thing we have to do when we pray is we have to give glory to God. In Matthew 6, it says, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. It means that when the first thing we do in any prayer should be to praise him and to worship him. It says, then your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as in heaven. We should be praying for things that God would have us pray for. We are partnering with him in our prayer life and partnering with him in our kingdom, in his kingdom. It then says to give us our daily bread, and there is nothing wrong with making our request known to God. It goes on to say, forgive us our sins as we forgive others. If we want to keep in the, the seeds and we want to keep in the membrane, we want to keep in the potency in our prayers, we have to forgive and accept forgiveness. It then asks us not to be led into temptation and to be delivered from evil. It's going to help your prayer life if every day we start by repenting and then trying to lead holy lives. We're not perfect. It's never going to be 100%, but we can try. And the more, the more pure we are in our, in our prayer life, I believe the more potent that will be. I think anything we do in prayer, we have to do humbly in prayer. 2 Chronicles 7.14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, and pray and seek my face and again turn from their wicked ways then I will hear them from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. If you really want to add some potency to your prayer start reading up on what it means to pray and fast but for now let's keep our prayers potent let's not remove the seeds and remove the membrane let's keep the spice in our prayer and let's continue to persevere. God bless and I'll see you again soon. Take care.